Hi and welcome! In this tutorial I want to show you my first impressions of the Alembic feature of Blender 2.7 and Unreal Engine 4. Therefore I first created a very simple animation with Blender 2.78 and this will be a cloth animation, a cloth simulation with two objects and I will export these out and import into Unreal Engine 4 as Alembic. Okay, let's first create this very simple cylinder. Switch to edit mode and add a bevel here and I think we can delete the face here at the bottom. And now I will define a material for this cylinder because later in Unreal Engine 4 I want to have two different materials for these two objects I'm going to create. Now name this material cylinder. Let's be creative. Yeah, okay, and now let's create a plane for our cloth simulation. Simple plane, move it upwards and scale it up. And now I switch to edit mode and I have to subdivide this plane because I need more triangles for this cloth simulation. Okay, and what you can do is you can triangulate this because the alembic im and export, I think it needs triangles, not quads, or it works at least better with triangles. And now let's define also a material for this and call it material plane. Okay, and we have to define this one as cloth in the physics tab and for the cylinder we have to add a collision. Okay, one thing I forgot, let's select the plane again and add the rigid body so that this plane really falls down and collides here with the cylinder. Okay, that's our animation. It will be, yeah, let it be 180 frames. That's okay, but I have to add some modifiers to make this look a little bit better. First I set the shading to smooth for the plane. Yeah, and this already enhances this. Okay, nice. Now let's switch to the modifiers for the plane. And I want to point out that you can also use the triangulate modifier to add the triangles. And I will also add a solidify to make this plane thicker and to have more offset when colliding here with the cylinder. Okay, very nice. Now let me come back to the cylinder and also add the triangulate modifier. Okay, and yeah, that's it. Now we can export this thing as Alembic. The extension is ABC. So let's select File, Export, Alembic. Choose the directory and export this. And I set the scale to 50 because it needs to be really bigger when importing to Unreal Engine. I already found this out when I played around with it. Okay, and now we can switch to Unreal Engine. I exported directly into my project. Perhaps you remember my spider project. And the Alembic importer comes up. Two things I changed. This is I set the import type to skeletal and the preset to Autodesk 3ds Max to get the correct rotation when importing. Okay, and here is our Alembic animation. We can also double click this and see how it will look like. Here's the preview and both materials are black now. Looks quite cool, but we will change this. So let's switch back to the scene and drag this animation into the scene. Here it is. Okay, this can be deleted. Press play to play the game. 
and we can see it yeah it has to be moved a little bit upwards ignore the spiders here on the right side <laughs> they are nice but they shouldn't be in the focus of this of this tutorial okay now i can see it completely very cool but i want to change the materials so let's do this select the object in the editor here you can see element one and element zero <laughs> hard to say which is which but now i will change the material for the cylinder i set it to a metal material and after that i double click the material for the plane and the material editor will open up and i will define the color of this material so let's pull out this base color here and define a constant and yeah i set this to a blue a blue tone then i select the material and define two-sided that's important because we can see the cloth from two sides yeah when it is animated so let's see when we start the game how this will look like yeah pretty cool okay i really hope you liked this tutorial guys and the alembic feature please subscribe to my channel thanks a lot for watching and see you soon here on my channel on jnm